All right, together we're going to take a look inside this package from Vosintech, based in Philadelphia. Let's see what we have. Share your photos with us. Okay, so this is a microfogger. Fog liquid. We have probably a charging cable. What is that? Well, we got uh, parts. Uh, pretty important part. This is the coil. Some people have damaged their coil right out of the box. Don't want to do that. All right, so that's everything for the box. Power. Uh, have we charged it? No, we haven't. Turn on to charge. Status and battery. Okay, I think we want to read the instructions first, if there are any. Ah, yes. Under the lid. That's where they hid them. Oh, look, there's more. You must, you must read the instructions, yes. You can also get the manual that way. Microfiber support. Which one do I have? I have the three light edition. And that, that's it. Three light. Charge fully before using. Okay. All right, so we're at my workbench, and uh, this place, this mess is a place. Uh, the instructions said to charge it for at least two hours. It could take up to six. While charging, Go ahead and we're going to load with smoke fluid. So we do that by unscrewing the tank. This is the tank. Okay, it says the, the uh, fluid does not go in there. It goes in the outer wall. The outer wall, not the inner wall. App is not. Tight. Is it childproof? Maybe so. Okay. Pour fog liquid into the cavity. Take your time. Don't make a mess. Check the heating coil. Make sure it is tightened sufficiently. I guess that's the heating coil. Okay, it's not moving. All right, so fill the tank. Very scary. Goes in there. I can see through this window what's happening. It's got some uh, viscosity to it. It's pretty thick stuff. So don't make a mess. And there's hardly any in there. Maybe you can see the tip through there. It's like a gel. I've got some air bubbles. 
We are maybe a third full. So yeah, looking, I'm sighting through this window here. Probably helps to keep it level. Keep filling until the liquid is at the same level as the top of the interior metal wall. Okay, yeah, we don't want to spill it, so we're going to invert the fogger. But first, we have to have a sufficient level. And we're not there yet. So this is not just ordinary fog fluid. This has viscosity. Uh, level is pretty high now. It's difficult to read. Very difficult to read. I'm going to I'm going to stop short. I think I think that's it. The cap is kind of squirrely. Okay, now it's good. Yeah, I think it is childproof. Okay, so we have to turn this over. Okay, now what? Now we wait. A minimum of 30 minutes. It has to seep into the heating coil. Rest in an upright position. So there, it's going to rest like that. Switch is on. And these lights are still on. They were on before it was turned on. Okay. So, have I read all of the instructions? I think so. All right. Come back in 30. All right, it's been 30 minutes. There's been no appreciable change in the battery charge indicator. But I'm going to try it anyway. Switch is on. I'm wearing a face shield just to be safe. If you see anything goes haywire. And I think all you have to do is mash the button, right? Tank is filled with fluid. Let's see what happens. Switch is on. No, unplug, we get a green battery indicator. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. It worked. And the fog goes up. It's not heavy fog. It went up into the air. One more time. Cool. I like it. Well, there it is. That's the Vocentec Microfogger 3 Lite. Doing its thing. Very cool. I like it. I'll put it back to charge. Thanks for watching.